You comfortable? I feel like an Ann Getty baby. Let me get my bow right. <laughs> That's better. It's <That's> cute. <laughs> Hi. Good. Hey. <laughs> I have been asleep for the past three weeks. And I, oh. Sorry, I have teeth whitening strips in, so maybe I'll have to subtitle. I don't know. It's just bear with me. Open your ears, bitch. <laughs> Also, this face mask is quite constricting because it's drying and getting tight and removing all the pen in my pores. January has definitely been my month of rest and relaxation. I have been living a life of just complete nothingness. I've been hibernating. Like, genuinely hibernating. I've been asleep the past three weeks. I enter January being like, wow, I got a lot of great ideas and a lot of creative stuff. The creative juices were flowing. Actually, they were not. <laughs> I feel like the end of 2023, last year, I gave myself time to, like, chill. And I was making, like, a lot of vlogs that were very easy to film and edit and stuff. And I don't think I did any videos that really had a concept at all. But I was char- Bitch, I was charging. I was- I was- I was charging up. Um, and preparing for the year of 2024. The year of our Lord. The year of... So far, darkness and rain and a whole lot of gloom and depression! <laughs> Yeah, I've been yeah, depressed. depressed. I've been depressed, but I haven't been sad. The weather has just been so goddamn disgusting. It's been snowing, it's been raining. I haven't socialized with it. Like, I genuinely, I don't think I've seen another human being. I'm not kidding. Three weeks. I think New Year's was the last time I was at all social. Wow. But next week, the weather is apparently, trust me, I do not trust meteorologists. I think that it's witchcraft and I don't fuck with it. I think it's dark magic. You do not, you cannot tell the future. You are playing God and you're trying to convince everyone that you just know the future, which 90% of the time, you don't. You get it wrong. Like, I watch the news, they say, Oh, next week, Wednesday, it's gonna be sunny, 30 degrees, blah. And then we continue to approach Wednesday next week. And notice how the weather starts to change. I know like a couple days ago I said it was gonna be sunny and hot, but actually it's gonna, it's gonna be actually really cold. It's gonna be a bit, it's gonna be a bit colder. Then you get a little bit closer to, oh actually, you, you guys, I was, uh, but last week was a funny joke. Tomorrow's actually gonna be minus 30 and snowing. So this video's fuck you is <laughs> going to meteorologists. Fuck you! But, I don't know. Supposedly, next week the weather is supposed to be much, much better, but I thought I would give myself the rest of this week to just really lay into R&R &R and, and just, just destroy my mental health even more. Because then next week, I could build it up and it'll be, it'll feel so much better. Right? I really haven't been doing anything. I, I don't know what I've been doing this month. It's really just been like, Smoking a ton of weed and sleeping, which is like, so pathetic. I've been justifying it by saying, what the fuck else am I supposed to do? It's been snowing and raining, I, cold as shit. What, what else am I supposed to do besides smoking weed and being unconscious? I can feel you judging me. <laughs> this month I also haven't been reading much. So today I read quite a bit of The Year of Magical Thinking by Joan Didion, which is the book club for Priory of Sean this month, which I would like to finish. I honestly would love to finish it today. The Discord opened... <coughs> oh my 
god. The Discord for this opened yesterday, and the girl- the girls are talking. The disciples, the warrior priests, the lepters, they're in there, they're chatting away, and I would like to join the conversation. So far, I'm really enjoying it. It's just about Joan Didion. Uh, you know- you know Joan- she was a journalist, and just- iconic author and socialite. But this is just about grieving her husband, John, after he passes away quite abruptly. I'm really enjoying it. I was expecting it to make me sad, but it's not. I think that Joan is just so practical and objective. She just explains the events and then writes about how she feels, but she just has such a grasp and control on language. It's really remarkable to see somebody grieving because I feel like Grief is so abstract. Somebody like Joan, whose mind is just so sharp, even in grief, she just is able to explain these really abstract and dark emotions so well. And as somebody who's never really experienced grief, especially not at this level, it's a really interesting journey that I feel like she's taking me on. But right now, I'm just gonna shower this off, take out these white strips, and I don't fucking know. I don't know. Lay down again, probably. <laughs> Shoot. Come here. <laughs> you look like that alien in the doorway meme. <laughs> Come. Oh my god. What about green? <laughs> that looks fucking crazy. Um... <laughs> this looks disgusting. This... No, I'm gonna keep it with this because this like, this is how I feel. This is how I feel. The outside is a perfect reflection of the inside. Last night I started La Sociedad de la Nieve and I finished it just now. That movie is so good. If you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. Run, don't wa walk. Because you, you got... This movie, it's about that rugby team in the 70s who were flying from Uruguay to Chile and their plane crashes in the Andes Mountains. They are there for like over two months. It's fucking crazy. It is really fucked up. That plane crash scene, I watched it like 10 times. I was obsessed. No, that sounds, well, not like the, like the first when the plane crashes into the mountain. That's what I watched. I didn't watch... Because that's like really graphic. I felt like I was like in that, I was like, yeah. I, I've lived a plane crash. I've lived a plane crash. I have. The way that it was shot was just so visceral and felt so real. It was really cool though. This lifestyle is just super not for me. It's driving me crazy and I've been super fucking anxious. I also just like have a ton of work to get done that I have been neglecting. So I'm currently contemplating pulling an all-nighter to get work done. However, I am currently at the point in my in my new routine where I get super anxious. I have been in bed all day, haven't done anything. I'm freaking the fuck out. So naturally what I do, I, I smoke a little bit of the Zaza and, and I pass out for like 14 hours. So, I'm also contemplating doing that. So, travesty has struck. 
I'm home, by the way. Thank fucking God. That shit sucked ass. That was ass. The past few weeks, I've been like, damn, like, I need to go outside and, like, socialize and experience other people. Like, it, like, intrinsically, like, my body, like, my body needs it. Bitch! No, I don't need to do that. <laughs> I, like, I didn't even have a bad time. I was just like, this is just not for me. As I said, Travesty has struck. My boba place got rid of the fun lids. What the fuck? What the fuck? Look, what's the point of even having a sharp straw? And they literally, they used to, these used to be fucking plastic and had color. Like you never knew which color you were gonna fucking get. And now look, it's paper. It's fucking stupid ass turtles. But you're supposed to, uh, boba. But look. That's not fun. That's not, I don't even want this. I don't even fucking want this. I also stopped at the bookstore and I picked up The Sirens of Titan by Kurt Vonnegut. I've been like craving Kurt Vonnegut uh, for a while now. I haven't read one of his books for quite some time. So I'm excited for this. This is an outrageous romp through space time, and morality, offered a chance to take a space journey to distant worlds with a beautiful woman at his side. <gasps> of course, there's a catch to the invitation, <gasps> and the prophetic vision about the purpose of human life that only Vonnegut has the courage to tell. That last part made no fucking sense. And prophetic vision- and a prophetic vision about- Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know what that means. But for the rest of the night, I don't- I don't know. I'm just gonna drink my boba, read my book. I might watch Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer? The what is it? I don't know. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Let me get my bangs right. Okay, that's much better. That's much better. Literally no drama. Did you know, life hack? If you do not leave your house and interact with other human beings, you will be a no drama llama. So if you're dealing with too much drama in your life, consider isolation. Because I haven't had to do confrontation in weeks. That says 2.49 p.m. That's gotta be right. I just got up. I, j I just got up, made myself this coffee, and grabbed this banana. That's gotta be a record. That has got to- I don't think I've ever woken up that late. On a weekday. Today's Thursday, I think. I've definitely like woken up at like 5 p.m. on like a Saturday or a Sunday because I was blackout drunk the night before. Um, but like, who has it? Um, everyone's done that. But like on a Thursday for a Thursday? On a Thursday? Last night I started watching Oppenheimer. Most boring shit of my life. Like that shit was so fucking boring. I watched like an hour of it and I was like... First of all, I'm not following any of this. What was- there was like 800 different storylines going on. The stuff about their relations- like, I don't give a fuck about- what is his name? Robert? <laughs> it's literally called- I just forgot. <laughs> Oppenheimer. I don't give a shit about his relationships. I just could not get myself to care about this weirdo dating. I don't- he's weird. Like, you're weird. Why are you dating all these women? I feel like he's a freak. Like in the beginning, I was like, okay, so this is like a, this is like a weird introverted freak. But then he would say and do things with these women that I was like, oh, like, wait, he's chill as fuck? I don't get it. Oof, oof. That was me actually sitting back down, sitting, that was me for the first time coming into my car. Oh, but that was, this was, so when I actually, that was me coming into my car for the first time with my, all my groceries. So, I thought I would do a quick haul of everything that I got. This is the most boring fucking video ever. There's just nothing going on. It's been like this all day. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? What am I- Look, I look sick. And it's not- I got 15 hours of sleep last night. I look like a claymation. I look like a fucking- Tim Burton character in a movie. The first thing I got is these blueberry bagels. These are my favorite bagels and I, I went in there. They were not anywhere to be seen. So I looked in this other hidden compartment. Bitch, I got the last blueberry bagel. But these expire in three days. So I have three days to eat. <laughs>
I do actually want to gain 50 pounds. I also go in there all the time to buy raspberries, but they didn't have any. Those I couldn't find anywhere else. I, actually, I saw... Oh, fuck it. Should I go back in there and get a clip? <laughs> I saw the empty raspberry section right beside the full blackberry section. Right beside it. And I said, fuck. I guess I'll just get fucking blackberries. Then right beside the blackberries, I saw blueberries. And, I, and there was a lady that was picking up she was taking all of them i was like looking for the raspberries grab the blackberries this lady comes f like behind me stops her cart and she's just filling her cart with all the fucking blueberries i wasn't even get it gonna get blueberries but for some reason just to spite her i grabbed one <laughs> what is wrong with me i think i might be evil because <laughs> i'm not kidding i think she's gonna take all of them and i was like i'm not letting this lady take all of the blueberries this store has why does she need every single there was a lot. I bet she's making like some big blueberry cake or something and I, she's like, fuck. We're like, we just don't have enough blueberries. We're just missing that much blueberries. <laughs> and then I got some juice. I got Turbo and Hulk. Then I just grabbed a sandwich. They have really fantastic scones most of the time. Like with these really just beautiful, it's like st strawberry cream cheese type shit glazed in God's cum. Like it's like, it's really great stuff. But they didn't have any. They had like Nanaimo bar, lemon bar, and red velvet cake. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not in the mood for any of that. And normally I don't like their sandwiches here actually. Yeah. But I saw this turkey brie. Oh God. Oof. Should we try it? I don't think I like it. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm not really a fan of that. And lastly, I got a coffee. Just a iced um lot. And that's good. I feel like I'm coughing like a fucking baby. <laughs>